Hey everybody! <laughs> Welcome to the Fiber Foozy Podcast. My name is Jill and I will leave all my information down below where you can find me on the internet. Um, I think this is episode 15? Pretty sure. So I had a giveaway for my 500 subscribers and those winners were picked and their boxes went out today so they should be getting them soon so Kimberly and Mary Ann and Robin and Jens they're on their way guys and I have notified them so they're they know and I think everybody got back to me and saw that I had sent them and saw that they had their tracking so Guys, I finished something in two days. I couldn't believe it. And I posted it online. I did the Bag o Day toddler sweater. It's number 553, the tutorial number 553. And it was the toddler sweater for beginners, I think. Look at this. It turned out so cute. And I have not shown my daughter yet. Now, the version in the uh, tutorial is for a girl and it has a little collar on it and it has uh, this pattern here in the center. It goes all the way down and then she puts a little ruffled edge on the bottom. But since the my grandbaby's gonna be a boy, I wanted it to look just a little bit, I mean it looks baby, but I wanted it to look a little bit less girl. And then I put buttons. And these are some of those buttons, they, they don't completely match. But these are some of the ones that my husband went through and, and sorted out for me. These are bone. Uh, the yarn is the Cotton Cakes and Karen Cotton Cakes. And this color is called Beach Glass. Now I know Z told us that they're supposedly discontinuing these and I'll tell you what this is my first time using it and it feels so good it's a it's a nice nice bouncy yarn it's kind of it's kind of a round like tubular construction and this is what I have left of that. So, it said that it takes five, roughly 550 yards. However, I didn't do all the ruffle and the collar and all that stuff, so I know I didn't use that much. I might have used 400. So, this is the 2T version, using a G hook. Um, her instructions said in the tutorial, it said, no, an H hook. I used an H hook. The 2T is an H hook, the 3T is an I hook, and the 4T is a J hook. And all you do is change your hook to make it a different size. So, a sweater, two days. I'm super happy about that. Also, I had been talking to my daughter about making something for my G-Dog. Y'all have seen pictures of him here on my channel. So this is his new toy. This is a Gatorade bottle that I started with a 
a circle on the bottom and then just came up and then I kind of went down uh, decreased a few stitches here and then decreased some more and then I had to put the bottle in it I put the bottle in it and then I had to hold the bottle and the edge while I worked you know around until I got up here and then I just sewed the top closed and this yarn is some of that yarn that hubby took so sweaters apart that we reclaimed the yarn and this is just scraps that I had in my little jar up here so yeah I do use scraps occasionally <laughs> so got that done and the reason I did the bottle it's an empty one so that it'll make noise he likes the noises. He likes the squishy toys, the bit, toys that make noise. Sometimes I get one every now and then just to aggravate my daughter. And she knows that. <laughs> Sorry, hon. <laughs> okay, now this I'm using a G hook. And this is the watermelon blanket from a garden of baby afghans and I've made progress it's a it takes a little longer when you're using the G hook it's fairly small but I've finished both parts of the yellow so that's how far I've gotten so I'm doing that variegated and then I'll do this little this green here and then it'll be a whole bunch of white so that's the progress on that and then Dana from Wanderlust Crochet, she said, you're in full granny mode, and I am from the quick, 60 quick knits, 60 quick baby knits, using Cascade 220 yarn, and I didn't make that clear the last time I showed y'all this, but all of the patterns in this book are using the Cascade 220 Superwash. And I'm doing the color block cardigan. This one. I haven't done much yet, just the ribbing. And I'm doing it. In black and the blue and white those are my colors for it so just the ribbing y'all probably can't even see it because it's black uh, knit one purl one rib seems like a fairly easy construction so I've done that and I've knit across and placed my markers and so I have I have started anyway and this is that August wind um, by Lotus yarns so that has been started And that's pretty much all I've done. Because y'all, you know, when I put my podcast up, it's only been, had been a full week yet. So, I feel accomplished though. <laughs> Getting a sweater done in two days. <laughs> When they say crystals patterns are easy, they really are. 
very easy to follow the tutorials are stop and start and do your rows and then carry on makes it nice and I got an order from DBMY so let's see what's in it because I have no idea which one this is out of there. They're in Barton, Vermont. They tied this in a knot, so let me see. going to keep that. Oh yes. This is Blue Sky Fibers. It's called wool stock. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, it's kind of dark. I hope y'all can see this. Ooh, that's pretty. <gasps> yes. Does that not say cardigan? Okay. Blue Sky Fibers Wool Stock. Fifty grams, one hundred and twenty three yards, one hundred and twelve meters. This is a hundred percent fine highland wool called Midnight Sea is the color, number 1317. The gauge is a six, six through 11 US, four through eight millimeter. Take your pick, I guess. Dry clean hand wash. It's made in Peru. And it's, it's worsted. Oh, that feels good. Oh, oh that feels good and squishy. Oh, I like that. So it's a navy. But can y'all see it's got these like heathered, just a slight heather to it. And this twist is beautiful. Ooh, look at the twist on that. Okay, so I got how uh, many in each one? I think there's five. One, two, three, four. Yeah, there's five in each one. So I got fifteen. And they are, okay, yeah, 
I got three bags of five. They were originally $37.50 a piece per, per bag for a total of $112.50. And my discount, I got $74.25 off. And my shipping was $10. So I've got 15 for $48, 100% Peruvian wool. Uh, I, you just can't tell how pretty this is. It's just super, super pretty. Oh, I'm so excited. A worsted weight cardigan and I'm thinking about doing did you guys see the picture today and somebody posted in Crystal from Bag o Day they posted in her on her group and it was a man's sweater and it was gray and it was done so well I'm thinking about doing that cardigan we'll see with that. That's very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, what else? So today is September the 16th, 2019. And about one month from now is my anniversary. However, I'm going to be going to my daughter's in New Orleans that week. So, probably will not do the anniversary until I get back. If I get rambunctious, <laughs> I may do a video and have it put, schedule it to come out while I'm gone. And it'll be the one for, I'm going to do another giveaway for my anniversary, And so it will be put up during that week while I'm gone and that way y'all could start commenting on that while I'm gone and, and then I can pick winners when I get back. That sounds like the plan, doesn't it? So, yeah. <sighs> Boy, I worked my butt off today at work. I had orders when I got in. I got those put out. had to do some stocking and then I had to do some pricing I had to update the website and update the register and I really I hardly sat I hardly did any any sitting at all I had a problem with um, the program I'm using for memes and I had to find another one and get some memes out because I scheduled I schedule some posts ahead of time. What else is going on? Hmm. I'm thinking about using my neck light when I do that sweater so I can see that black and I'll let y'all know if that works because I have a pretty nice lamp that's over my uh, chair up front. Now back here I have a lot of light and I may need to just do that while I'm back here, at least till I get past the black. So one or the other, because sometimes I get tired and I need to go move around and then I'll go sit up front and watch TV up there. Now I have not been listening to any books, I've been listening to podcasts. I finished one called The Clearing. C-L-E-A-R-I-N-G, The Clearing. I also have been listening to Sworn, S-W-O-R-N, but they're moving to a different setup, so I'm just listening to what's there for free, and then I'll, I'll probably be done with that. 
that one was interesting because that they did a, a whole series on the just the our courts and, and how things work um, from both the clients perspective from the lawyers perspective from the clerks from the uh, maybe the the Emmy the medical examiner uh, all kinds of different things they show different aspects of how things go you know and then they had a case and they had three episodes and it was a lady who uh, found her husband and he was not doing well and he had a gun and she had been trying to keep him from hurting himself for a long time and they had kids and she tried to get the gun away from him all of those things anyway he winds up shooting himself and then um, they take her in and they charge her for killing him well they go through this process it's very interesting how when all the evidence finally comes through they realize that's not at all what happened is what she said happened and not what they jump to conclusions and so they t and it's just interesting to me so she was in jail for quite a while and she had she wound up taking a plea and still has a record can't get a job can't go to school to get a better job because she still would have to tell them that she's a felon so it's just really something anyway uh, what else have I been listening to I've been listening to my tablet with my uh, new Bluetooth and I can walk around and do things while I'm listening so I can be doing dishes and all kinds of stuff while I'm listening I'm loving that and I'm listening to a book by Charles Todd and it's his first book in a series about a detective who this is set back in like the 40s yes I believe it's the 40s and in like England and he works for Scotland Yard so it's it's really um, interesting because a lot of the characters at the time are coming back from war and they have issues going on and these are all the kind of things that he winds up investigating and he has his own demons because he was in the war and I think his name is Ian Rutledge the character so it's this first book is called A Test of Wills W-I-L-L-S and it's a series of books that my mom she read every one of them and I have a whole bunch of his books but this is the first one I'm listening to it and I kind of get a, a baseline and I'm also halfway through the CJ Box book and I'm talking about physically reading I'm actually reading a book halfway through it and this CJ Box first book called Open Season so that's what I've been doing yeah it's about all I got today guys I hope you have a wonderful week I will see you in a few days um, I may try to do some, um, go check out Marianne, Yarn Happens with Marianne, and gosh, I'm trying to think of some of the new ones that I started with this week. I didn't write them down. So I may do a short one just with some shout outs later on, and uh, I'll see if I can't get that done for you guys. Okay. 
Thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting me, liking. Please be sure and hit the like button, if nothing else. Um, subscribe. I'd love to have you subscribe. And uh, thank you to everybody who has. We will see you later. See ya. Oh, and by the way, have some fun today.